Hey, what's up everybody? Super excited to get started on this next project. It's a warthog from Africa. Pretty sweet skulls. I'll show it to you here in just a second. But this is one that I'm doing for Chuck. He asked me to do it. He's a taxidermist in South Central Utah. And uh, I'll show you what we're doing. Alrighty. Okay, now we got the full effect. So this is a warthog that I'm doing for Chuck. He's hunting catman on Instagram. You should go give him a follow. And he asked me to do this with an African theme, but incorporating his logo. So there's his logo, Big's Taxidermy. And then this is actually a cougar but for the purpose of doing this African themed skull, I asked him if I could convert that cougar into a leopard. And he gave me permission to do that. So I think that's gonna look really cool. So we got some giraffe hide going on here. Some of that design like we did on a previous piece that turned out really cool. Anytime you see pictures of the landscape in Africa, you see those giant acacia trees. The tree, the trunk, and the branches are bare because of the giraffes that feed on them. And then all you see at the top is that umbrella of foliage. On the bones around the tusks, we're gonna do some of that zebra striping. Kind of interesting here. I'm not sure what happened to this thing. He's got some, I don't know if he broke his nose at some point, if something got a hold of him or what, but that's kind of crazy. But it looks like it's mostly been healed, but at one point his nose was broken. This is gonna turn out to be a really cool project and I'm excited to bring you along on the ride with me. So here we go. Yo, what's up? I didn't time lapse that last little bit. I just got some real time actual carving video instead. So hopefully that's okay, but I just wanted to show you really quickly kind of what I got done in that last segment. Got the leopard all carved in. Turned out pretty sweet. I'm excited to get the color on there so that we can see the contrast but it's going along really cool but the last thing i need to do is just that acacia tree once that thing's done then i can just start to get everything all colored up
All right. I'm all finished with the Warhog. It turned out really cool, so I'm really excited to give you a, a little peek of this thing. But uh, it's a lot of fun for me to do, so I just want to again say thank you, Chuck. I appreciate you having me do this for you. It's been a pleasure, and I've really enjoyed it. So let's take a look, see what we got here. It turned out really cool. I'm really happy with how everything came together. My favorite part is adding that color. As soon as that color goes on, everything just pops and the contrast looks really cool. Just to give you a quick little description of what we got going on here. So we went with the zebra striping. That turned out really cool. Super happy with how that all looks. Got this super cool looking acacia tree. Turned out really neat. And then of course we got Chuck's taxidermy business logo. Biggs taxidermy. And then of course that originally was a cougar, but because we got the African theme going on here, we decided to switch it up and give him some spots. Turn him into a leopard. So that turned out pretty neat too. And then the giraffe hide pattern, and then just kind of resembling the tusks of a of a warthog. Just that cool little design at the very top. So all in all, turned out really neat and I'm super happy with how it all came together. Give you some different angles.